Ready for an adventure? Let's swap the daily grind for some Irish magic. Ah! Today we're dizing into the wild Atlantic way, and even better, we're tailoring this deep dive to you. You mentioned craving dramatic scenery, a touch of history, and maybe even a chance to catch some waves. Well, get ready, because this 1,500-mile route along Ireland's west coast is about to deliver all that and more. From Donegal to Cork, picture ancient tombs overlooking crashing waves, charming towns frozen in time, and a chance to truly connect with Ireland's wild side. First up, Donegal, the northernmost county in Ireland. Get that camera ready, because Donegal is home to Sleeve Leak, some of the tallest sea cliffs in Europe. Imagine standing on the edge of the world, gazing out at the vast Atlantic crashing against those dramatic cliffs. Makes you realize just how small we are, doesn't it? In the best way possible. But hold on, Donegal's got more than just those epic views. The Fanet Peninsula is a mix of stunning beaches and fascinating history. Surfers, you'll want to check out Rosnala, known for its consistent waves. But if you're like me and prefer a bit more peace and quiet, Tullinstrand's serene beauty might be more your speed. And while you're there, don't miss the Funad Lighthouse. Talk about a beacon of maritime history. And speaking of history, we've got to mention the Inishowen Peninsula. This is where you'll find Malin Head, the absolute northernmost tip of Ireland. You can practically feel the weight of history there, with ancient monuments like Banbo's Crown whispering tales of Ireland's mythical past. It really is fascinating, isn't it? And those cliffs you mentioned, they're not just a pretty picture. They're millions of years in the making. The relentless force of the Atlantic Ocean, along with tectonic shifts and erosion, have sculpted that dramatic coastline. It's awe-inspiring and ancient all at once. And then there's Bamba's crown perched right on the edge overlooking the sea. Legend has it that it's named for Bamba, one of the mythical queens of Ireland. Can you imagine? Those very stones have witnessed centuries of history, from ancient rituals to Viking raids. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hop in the car and start exploring. But before we leave Donegal, let's delve a bit deeper into the stories this landscape can tell. What can those ancient monuments, like Bamba's crown, reveal about the people who actually built them? That's what makes exploring these ancient sites so captivating. They weren't just built randomly, you know. These structures were carefully positioned, often aligned with celestial events like solstices and equinoxes. This tells us that the people who built them had a deep understanding of astronomy and the natural world, wouldn't you say? Their lives were completely connected to the rhythms of the earth and the cosmos. From those rugged cliffs of Donegal, we're heading south into counties Sligo and Mayo, where ancient Ireland is ready to meet us. Get ready to swap dramatic cliffs for rolling hills. But trust me, the sense of wonder it's sticking with us. First up, picture this, the Caramore Megalithic Cemetery in County Sligo. Now I know, I know, a cemetery might not sound like everyone's cup of tea, but hold on, because this is no ordinary graveyard. This is a site that predates the pyramids. We're talking about a sprawling landscape with Neolithic tombs, a real glimpse into the rituals and beliefs of a civilization lost to time. How cool is that? Imagine for over 6,000 years, these tombs have stood there, silently witnessing history unfold. The rise and fall of empires, the changing tides. If only those stones could talk, right? And speaking of stories, nearby Knocknaria Mountain has a few of its own. This imposing hill is said to be the final resting place of Queen Aeve, the fierce warrior queen of Canacht. Myth or reality, her presence just seems to linger, adding another layer of intrigue to this place, don't you think? I think what's so incredible about these places is how they really make you think about our place in the grand scheme of things. Take the Karamore tombs, with their astronomical alignments and intricate carvings, it makes you realize these people were deeply connected to the cycles of nature and the cosmos. And it makes you think, our modern world, for all its advancements, it's just a blip on the radar, isn't it? It's humbling, right? Standing among those ancient stones, feeling that connection to the past. But our journey through time isn't over yet. As we go south into County Mayo, get ready for a real contrast. We're talking about the Seed Fields, one of Europe's most extensive Stone Age landscapes. And then the Mayo Peace Park, a reminder of a much more recent, sometimes difficult, past. So first, picture the Seed Fields. Hidden beneath bog for centuries, they're a haunting glimpse into a prehistoric world. It's incredible. Imagine a time when those fields were alive with farmers and families, their lives completely intertwined with the land. And then we have the Mayo Peace Park a somber but beautiful tribute to those who lost their lives in various conflicts, including the War of Independence. It's a reminder that peace is precious, something to be protected, for sure. That transition, going from the seed fields to the Mayo Peace Park, it really highlights the enduring impact of history, doesn't it? On one hand, we have these ancient landscapes, witnesses to the slow march of time, and then we have this memorial to the human cost of conflict, a reminder that even in the 20th century, peace was hard won. It's a lot to process. The weight of history, the resilience of people, makes you appreciate the present moment, right? 
But okay, enough with the somber reflection for now. Let's lighten the mood and head east, towards Galway. Get ready for some vibrant energy. From ancient landscapes and powerful memorials, we're shifting gears and heading east towards Galway. Get ready to feel the energy. Galway is a city that begs to be explored on foot, you know. Imagine strolling down those cobblestone streets, the air filled with traditional music spilling out from cozy pubs. It's magical. You might stumble upon a bustling market, overflowing with colorful crafts and delicious local treats. Or maybe you'll find yourself captivated by the grandeur of the Galway Cathedral. It's stunning. But Galway isn't just about cityscapes, I'll know. A short ferry ride away are the Aran Islands, a world of their own where time seems to move a little slower. Here, the rugged beauty of the Irish landscape takes center stage once again. Imagine standing atop Dún Angasa, a prehistoric fort perched right on the edge of a cliff, overlooking the vast Atlantic. It's like stepping back in time, feeling the presence of those who came before us and their connection to this wild, untamed land. And speaking of breathtaking views, no trip to this region would be complete without experiencing the legendary cliffs of Mohair. Towering over 700 feet above the crashing waves, these cliffs are a true spectacle of nature's raw power. What's so captivating about Galway is how it blends the old and the new so seamlessly. You have the historical significance of the Spanish arch and the city's medieval walls existing right alongside a thriving art scene. It's a city that embraces its heritage while celebrating its modern spirit. It's really quite something. It really is incredible, that ability to honor the past while embracing the present. But as much as I'd love to linger in Galway, I think it's time to hit the road again, don't you? Our wild Atlantic Way adventure continues south into County Clare, where those dramatic cliffs we talked about are ready to reveal a whole new side to their story. Remember how we discussed those powerful geological processes that shape this landscape? Well, prepare to venture beneath the surface because we're about to explore the Ale Wee Cave. It's a hidden world of stalactites, stalagmites, and ancient formations all carved out over millions of years. Just imagine, these very caves were once home to brown bears during the last ice age. Venturing into the depths of the earth, surrounded by evidence of such ancient history, is both thrilling and humbling, wouldn't you say? The Aoi Cave, with its formations resembling frozen waterfalls and sparkling crystals, reminds us that nature is an artist with an incredibly long timeline. It's a good reminder to slow down and appreciate those little details, especially as we're nearing the end of our wild Atlantic Way journey. Speaking of which, our adventure culminates in County Kerry, home to the world-famous Ring of Kerry Scenic Drive. And listen, forget everything you think you know about scenic drives because this is something else entirely. It's more than just a route on a map. It's a journey through some of Ireland's most breathtaking coastal and mountain scenery. Imagine winding roads clinging to the edges of rugged cliffs, revealing panoramic views of the Atlantic crashing against the shoreline. Picture lush valleys dotted with ancient stone forts and charming villages where time seems to stand still. The Ring of Kerry is a true feast for the senses, a celebration of the raw natural beauty that defines this part of Ireland. And it's not just the scenery. The Ring of Kerry is steeped in history and folklore, each turn in the road revealing echoes of the past. You'll come across ancient stone circles, remnants of a time when Celtic chieftains ruled these lands. You'll pass through quaint villages where the Irish language Gaelic is still spoken and where traditional music and storytelling are woven into the fabric of everyday life. And if you're looking for a truly unique experience, a short boat trip from the Ring of Kerry takes you to Skellig Michael. It's a jagged, windswept island that seems to rise straight out of the Atlantic. Now, what makes this island so special? Well, back in the 6th century, a group of monks chose this, let's be honest, pretty inhospitable place to build their monastery. Can you imagine? Choosing to live in such a remote and challenging environment? all for faith and solitude. It's incredible. Those monks on Skellig Michael, they weren't just seeking solitude, but a deeper connection, both with their faith and with the natural world. They built those stone beehive huts, clinging to the cliffside as a true testament to their devotion and resilience. And even though the monks are long gone, their legacy lives on in the haunting beauty of Skellig Michael, a place where the past feels incredibly present. It's really amazing how some places can hold such a powerful sense of history and spirituality, isn't it? And speaking of history, our final stop takes us to Cork, a city as vibrant and full of character as its people. Now, if you're interested in this city's past, you have to visit the Cork City Jail. This former prison offers a glimpse into what life was like for those on the wrong side of the law centuries ago. Fascinating and, well, maybe a little bit eerie too. And no trip to Cork would be complete without a visit to the English market. It's a foodie's paradise, that's for sure. 
You can indulge in the freshest local produce, seafood, and all sorts of artisan treats. And of course, we can't forget about Blarney Castle, home of the legendary Blarney Stone. Who hasn't heard of kissing the Blarney Stone for the gift of gab? It's one of those must-dos when you're in Ireland. The tradition of kissing the Blarney Stone goes back centuries. And sure, its origins might be a bit of a mystery, but there's no denying its lasting appeal. Whether you believe in the legend or not, it's a fun, quirky tradition that really embodies the lighthearted spirit of the Irish people. So there you have it. Your wild Atlantic Way adventure awaits. From Donegal's dramatic cliffs to the lively streets of Galway, from the ancient stones of Caramore to that legendary Blarney Stone, the Wild Atlantic Way is a journey that promises to captivate your senses, ignite your imagination, and leave you with a newfound appreciation for the magic of Ireland. What are you waiting for? Start planning your unforgettable Irish adventure today.